This is Twit. Eight core i7 5960X Haswell E gets some jump. This thing is what? Stupid expensive or stupid reasonable? I mean, we're talking about $1,000 down to like $389. So it's not entirely stupid in pricing. Apparently, well, if you want the if you want the eight core processor, it's stupid expensive. Yeah, I mean the core, core i7 5960X is the eight core version, eight core 16 thread. Right. It's a thousand bucks, nine ninety nine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is the extreme edition part, right? The one that Intel has, you know, for the last I don't know eight years or so has been the thousand dollar processor, whatever their flagship extreme edition part happens to be, is a thousand bucks, and this is it, and it's impressive. If you can afford well, it, if you want to pay it's for kind it. of funny. We had so we did the in honor of 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 your low cost uh, gaming machine build. We we built, you know, basically a three hundred and eighty dollar gaming machine because uh, we also had a right. few requests on die try and more. They're like, you know, I want a wall hang a PC. So, you know, did some lashing. We did some screwing. We ended up with a P complete PC on a board hanging on a wall because you know paracord and PCs are perfect together. Um, and somebody was it was really funny because we had some reactions that were like, oh, you should use you know this AMD part. We were like, go go read the PC per article or oh, you need more of this. Go, go read the PC per article. And the really interesting one was somebody was like, hey, could I use this to run? Um, you know, Illustrator or some of the other CS6 programs. And this processor, if you are running all of the Photoshop or all of the Premiere, like this is the processor you've been waiting for. It's a consumer sort of eight core processor. It'll run 16 threads. So if you mm -hmm. have the giant multi-threaded application of Doom, this is the processor that will actually speed it up, at least if the bottleneck is multiple threads. So that's yeah, kind of exciting. I, yeah, I mean, it's... If you look at some of the benchmark pages like the video transcoding, the uh, rendering, you know, the stuff that is very heavily threaded and very easily threaded, um, at least on the rendering side, I mean, you see significant jumps over, you know, the quad core or the six core parts that are that are already out there, right? If you if you look at, so this is Haswell E, it is the same core architecture that is in the, you know, the 4000 series parts shipping today. Uh, you know, the 4770K, the 4790K, those are Haswell. They're quad core eight threads instead of eight core 16 threads. Now, if you look at something like Devil's Canyon, um, that's a very low cost part compared to the 5960X. Um, it's like $350 or something like that, $330. And it has half the cores, but it also runs at a little bit higher, actually runs at a significantly higher clock speed. So uh, the base clock of Devil's Canyon is, <clears throat> excuse me, four gigahertz, while the base clock of the new 5960X is three gigahertz. So, I mean, you're talking about a 25% drop in frequency, but you're doubling the number of processing cores. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gives you an idea right away of like heavily threaded applications are going to see a really big boost, anywhere from 30 to 80%, you know, 30 to eh, maybe 75%. Mm -hmm. Uh, in those applications. But if you look at, say, uh, if you look at the page titled um, uh, Rendering and Scientific, and you look at that very first graph, it's actually mm -hmm. a Cinebench test, which is a rendering application. Uh, but the single threaded result uh, demonstrates that, hey, you know, if you are doing a lot of single threaded applications, and for whatever reason, the, the programs you're using are single threaded, that, you know, you can get a Better perform, you can get better performance out of 4790K, out of 4770K, out of 4670K, you know, and on down the line. Um, it's still a good part. It's decent. It's reasonable. Mm -hmm. And you can run a bunch of single-threaded applications at the same time and get right. optimal performance out of them.